Hello and welcome again to another episode of Masonic Curators, episode 127. My name is Chuck Latoyle and today we're going to do something a little bit different than previous videos. And I'm asking for a little collaboration from you, the viewers. Um, so anyone who loves to do research, who loves uh, or is curious about Masonic tokens or coins, any historians out there or uh, museum curators or professional numismatists, I would love to see what you can come up with regarding this very unique token, the CW Masonic token. Many times when we come across Masonic artifacts here at Masonic Curators, we tend to know a little bit about what it is we're looking at, or at least know how to obtain the resources in order to look up and educate ourselves about these particular items. However, this particular item had us stumped for a number of years. Keith and I, from Masonic Curators, have tried a number of times to do research on this very item and we hit a wall every single time. And what we have so far is a reference to the token in a privately printed book by William T. R. Marvin out of Boston in 1880. And there were only about 160 copies of this book printed. And, but now, thanks to technology, we were able to download a version of this book off the internet. And I'll provide you with a, a link or uh, a way to get to it somewhere in this video. And on page 257 of this book, item number 685, the book describes this token as the obverse depicting the square in the compass with the letter G in the center. The reverse depicting an arch in the keystone partially in. And under the keystone is an altar above which is a letter G. The arch is supported by the pillars which bear the letters C and W and it is listed as being made of copper. There's also a side note that the author writes. He states, for the knowledge of this token, I'm indebted to brother W.J. Hugin, who doesn't mention the size, but the piece is doubtless of English origin. But I would argue that they've missed a few details about the coin when describing it in this book. And perhaps they only had one version of this coin to describe, and it could have had significant wear, and they missed a few details. We'll never know. And this is the version that I have. It's a little bit more detailed than the previous examples that I've shown. Um, and what Hugin and Marvin uh, don't mention in their description is that beneath the columns, uh, there appears to be a mosaic pavement. And on that pavement, according to uh, Hugin and Marvin, is an altar. Uh, but I might suggest that uh, it's possibly an imperfect stone or a rough ashlar. And it may also be a stretch where you see the point between the C and the W. Uh, I feel that could be construed as a single point within a circle and the circle being the circumference of the coin with that single point in the middle. And I also take notice of the symbol above the G. It appears to be an infinity symbol. Uh, in my interpretation, I feel it's a representation of the Ouroboros symbol, uh, which may represent eternity or the continual renewal of life amongst all things. And so what are your thoughts? What are your perceptions? You know, we'd love to hear, you know, how you interpret these things, these images. Uh, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you see. We'd love to hear from you. And continuing on with my observations on the obverse uh, depicting the square and the compass with the letter G in the center. Uh, the origins of the letter G can stir up a lot of controversy and animus <laughs> uh, within the Masonic community. It's much like the conversations we have about which way to wear your ring, you know, points in, points out. And there's countless options on how to answer as far as the ring. And uh, there's many schools of thoughts regarding the letter G and where its origins came from. And for those who argue that the uh, letter G within the square and compass is a uh, modern adaptation uh, and only came into fruition in the mid to late 1700s, I'd argue that the letter G within the square and compass symbol has been around for much, much longer. The letter G has represented different things at different times to so many different people. And historically, the G has represented geometry. It's represented God and it has represented the grand or great architect and uh, actually many other things. 
And an early example depicting the square and compass with the letter G inside is in the 1525 publishing of Ptolemy's Geography. And while we were researching this token, we found another book by Trevor Harris called The Metals and Jewels of British Freemasonry. And in this book, on page 48, Harris references the CW token, and he states that the origins of the token have proven to be a puzzle for Masonic historians. But from the emblems on the obverse, there is a possibility that it originated in the north of England. And it's not known what the letter CW stands for, and in Harris's book, he lists the size of the coin, unlike the previous book. He lists it as 31 millimeters, and he lists this version as being made of bronze rather than of copper, like the previous one. And in another reference that we found about the token, uh, it mentions George Shackle's book, Metals of Freemasonry. I believe it was published around 1901, and it was listed in there as very rare. And it's also stated that the token is considered one of the rarest Masonic tokens in existence and believed to be from around 1780. Now, we cannot confirm or deny any of the information that we found as of yet. Uh, and that's where the trail ends as far as research that we've obtained. We're asking you guys who are interested and curious about these things to see what you can come up with. You may have resources that are greater than ours or even different than ours and be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together a little bit piece by piece. And we'd love to be able to make a part two uh, of this video and be able to update information and share with the Masonic community. And we here at Masonic Curators, we find these mysteries interesting and fun. And although we don't always have the time to invest in research, we do tend to, uh, you know, reach out to each other to see if, you know, you know, one resource over another can find little bits and pieces of information to make those puzzle pieces fit and get a clearer picture of what we're looking at and what we're researching. And usually in doing this type of research, we find other bits and pieces of information that we never knew about. And uh, it opens up a whole new world of interests and discoveries. We find new artifacts we never knew existed. Uh, so hopefully some of you will come along with us and help us figure out a little bit more about this CW token. And, um, you know, we'd love to have you on this journey and perhaps we can solve the mystery together. I thank you for your interest and I thank you for watching this video and we appreciate you immensely and we hope that you can help spread the word about what we're doing here at Masonic Curators. So if you could please like and subscribe, that would help us out immensely and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos and we have some amazing videos coming up. Um, you know, we have one coming up with the Napoleonic French Prisoner of War uh, jewels. And with that is an amazing, amazing story. And so uh, feel free to leave us comments and let us know your thoughts. Let us know how we're doing. And let us know if there's anything that you would like us to discuss in future videos. We would appreciate any feedback you have. And we here at Masonic Curators, we thank you once again. Please stay tuned and keep watching. Perhaps it was because they only had one copy of this coin to describe using... Really? Historically, the letter G has represented God, geometry...